Hey there, it's Anthony from Maestro Music Centers. Today I'm on a Roland F130R digital piano. The new version of this instrument is an F140R. Um, I, the other day I did a, a video for you on the FP80 and FP50 series where you can kind of play along with the bands and I promised I would do it on the F130 and F140. So the main difference between, um, besides the price of the instruments, between the F1, um, uh, 130, 140 and the FP series is that instead of having a large readout, you have a numeric display that's here on the, on the instrument. So I picked a rhythm that I wanted for a popular song, and the rhythm actually has a name. Uh, it's called Strumming Pop, and this is out of the manual, and it's 1-7. So I, I pressed the rhythm button, and I pressed the plus button until I got to 1-7. If you hold down the rhythm button, it turns on the sync function, so when you press the key, the instrument will turn on. This is more of a, uh, you know, a a, a instrument that we sell a lot to people who are starting starting to play, so it actually automatically determined that um, I want to use the split function to turn off the full piano mode. And uh, in the case of if I want to play with the band, if I would like an introduction, I would put on the introduction. If I would like a more elaborate introduction, I press the variation button next to it. When I then go down and play my left hand chord, uh, I have to put the sync on, then the instrument is going to play a pattern to go with this. Okay. If I put on the uh, intro and ending for this, that's what we'd get. Again, hold my sync. Now this is variation, so it's longer. to get the instrument and have it just pick parts of that pattern out, if I hold my stop start button and I use my plus and minus, I'll see three circles. So everything is on. If I now push the plus button so the first circle turns off, we have no drum. So the first circle represents drums. The next one cut off the last circle, leaves the middle circle. That's the bass. Okay, so it's drum, bass, accompaniment. If I press it one more time, it only leaves on the last circle, so I just get the accompaniment, no bass. So I can actually really use the instrument in different ways and get, you know, different results with the same rhythm style. So, there's drum only. drum only, it gives you the luxury of doing what I just did, which is play whatever you want to play and just have the drums instead of using a metronome. There is metronomes built in all the digital pianos, but you know, sometimes it's just not fun. It's about, a, you know, really exciting, like watching wallpaper dry. So, you know, you can use these bands and really have a really great time playing the kind of music that you want to play. And there's, you know, these are pop rhythms, but there's Latin and big band styles, um, you know, if you like traditional music, there's polkas and waltzes, and there's actually, in this model, um, if I go to the rhythms that start with the number 9, which is really kind of neat, I get these piano-based rhythm styles. Now let's go back and turn on everything. So this does like an arpeggio piano. variation too. It 
that's a string. It's hard to hear it probably on the video, but there's a string in there. Okay? What's two? I forget. This is a pop rhythm, I think. Yeah. That's the variation. This is the original version. Okay, and there's like a pop, there's a pop, um, pop rhythm, classic polka, a waltz, a boogie. If you can't play boogie woogie, that's not style number five. So you can get a really sophisticated piano pattern, and then you're just playing piano style with your songs. You can play jingle bells with this. So these are really, really great instruments if you know, you're starting out playing. has excellent, excellent touch. And I'll say this about all the digital pianos. Um, whether you're in a really basic one, uh, an entry level F20, or you get a little bit of a nicer piano, um, if it has these patterns and stuff in them, you have a, a lot of flexibility with how you can play your music. The larger the instrument, uh, the better the speaker system is. However, if you're playing quietly with headphones on, they sound amazing, all of them, from the entry level up, as good as our top of the line model would sound with headphones on. So the channeling of the sound through the headphones is really amazing. You get great sound, you get excellent touch, they feel like grand pianos, the sound quality is fabulous, the decay of the piano sample, how it fades out, is long and clear, and you don't hear dropping off in the notes. Um, Really, really, really superb. If you have not you know, tried these new Roland Digitals, I encourage you to get to your local dealer and pop in and you know, try them and see what they're like because I really think you'll fall in love. We had someone in here, we're near New York City, and someone came in a, a couple months ago who, and uh, he initially was looking for an acoustic piano. I asked what he did and he told me that he wrote music for uh, uh, jingles, commercial jingles, and for Broadway. So I had him sit at one of our top of the line Roland digital pianos and said, well, just you know, try this out. I, I don't have what you're looking for here in the store, but you know, I'd love for you to you know, give me your assessment of this piano. And he was really getting into it and changing the sound and putting in you know, clavichords and pianos and stuff. And after a while, I looked at him and said, you forgot you were playing something digital, didn't you? And he said, oh, wow, you're right. I totally forgot. So the experience, the touch, and the feel, and the sound was so good that he really got engrossed in it. So uh, they're really amazing. Um, and I hope that this helps some of you because I know many of you are buying these new digital pianos. Hey, you don't need to have them tuned. It's a couple hundred dollars you're saving every year on that. They take up a lot less room. You could control the volume, so if you want to play quietly, you can. You could put headphones on and hear nothing, especially if the kids are doing scales. It's great to have that option. And if you don't like the sound of the piano, pick another one. There's lots of them in there, lots of options, different sound combinations, and you can have a good, good time. There's, you know, over 300 sounds in this F-130 piano. Everything you can think of on the planet under General MIDI, all right? Thanks for watching, have a great day.